Score points. That's a good point, Jimmy. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, a, a game that should be fun to watch if you're a Viking fan. I got friends that are. I, the key to this game, I, I'm, not, I'm not real concerned about the offense because I think, I think Zimmer's finally adjusted to the fact that Cousins <laughs> let him go ahead and throw the football. Outstanding offensively. Rode the corners a little bit. Just a little, uh, not playing his best. I guess that's the best way to say it. But the key to me is their tight end, Kyle Rudolph. The guy's got six touchdowns inception. He is the leader of that pack. Kind of like Rudolph Santa. Santa Rudolph. It, it's his time of year is what you're saying. What we're trying to do here is be hey, clever. Howie, let's look at the West because Wall uh, Teddy Bridgewater at Minnesota. All right, speaking of Minnesota, the Vikings are 5-0 at home this season as they host the Lions. The first of three games they'll play at home against division rivals down the stretch. Michael, with the Vikings playing so well at U.S. Bank Stadium, are you still banking on them to win the division? Why not the Vikings, Kurt? I mean, great record at home this season. They get the Packers and the Bears at home. A little home cooking. I think a little home cooking could give the Vikings the north. I really do. All right, from Prince's home state of Minnesota to a team that has brought a whole new meaning to Purple Rain. As the top-seeded Baltimore Ravens and the Electrified... North and I again everybody alongside the Hall of Fame nominee Chris Spielman and Shannon Spake on top. Brennan, great to be with you. One game behind Green Bay, the Vikings have three of their next four, including today, division games here at home. It's right there for the taking. Well, you look at it, it's, it's not a mathematical must-win situation for the Vikings, but mentally I think it is, especially for this defense, who has not lived to the standard of themselves as players and to Coach Zimmer. They get a rookie quarterback today, I think they'll play a little bit better. Well, speaking of that rookie quarterback, your thoughts watching David Blau on Thanksgiving? Well, I was so impressed with his composure, and that offensive line did a good job, but I like the fact that he didn't panic and run the football. He kept his eyes downfield, held on to the ball, allowed big plays to happen down there for Marvin Jones Jr. and Kenny Galladay. All right, these two longtime foes go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. The Lions and the Vikings, you're watching the NFL on Fox. Fox Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. Jets! Jets! 16, Miami 9. Yes, Jets, Jets, Jets. Michael Vikings taking care of business. Yeah, all on my man Kirk Cousins, you know, Kirk Cousins. Having a great year ever since they let him throw the ball. And what he's doing well today is off the play action pass there to the under ball handling to, to, to cook. Deliver the strike down the field. Here's the touchdown pass in the end zone. Awful play action. Nice. And here is a great play action rollout. Under pressure and deliver the strike to Diggs. A hard throw to make. He's 12 for 12, 114 yards, and one TD <coughs> on play action passes. He's done a great job with Kirk. Kirk's done a great job delivering on his end as well. They're going to run the table and hope Green Bay stumbles. They can order to win the division. Yeah. But looks like they're in pretty good shape for the playoffs regardless mm -hmm. now. Fifth seed. They can Fifth do it. For seed Fifth seed. Fifth seed. Well, right, right. now they did the sixth seed, Six. but they're, that Six. NFC West could change. If they get there, there's Nobody a lot to play. go on the NFC. Yeah. Well, it's a couple of uh, AFC teams all time, Mark, for quarterback rushing in the season. We've got much more to come here on the State Farm Post Game Show. Up next, we'll take a trip to Mr. Rogers' neighborhood as the Packers spend some time working on that Lambeau leap against the Skins. Meanwhile, the Vikings, they're looking to leap over Green Bay in the NFC North. We'll beam up some highlights from Captain Kirk and Cousins and Company as Cousins and Company. That's his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get to celebrate. Take care of business at home 2015 over the Washington Redskins. Lions at the Vikings, Kirk Cousins having an outstanding year back. B.C. Johnson, there he is. Nice job. Gets up in the air, makes a nine-yard touchdown. Vikings off and running seven or nothing over the Minnesota Vikings. Simple old crosser route to Dalvin Cook. Takes it, goes out wide, seals it off to the inside. Good speed. 27 Vikings on the road. Take care of the Detroit Lions. Can I stay on the road? Vikings at home. That's the ref. Not going to change it. They win.
22-21. All right, here's a look at the updated playoff picture starting in the AFC where you see the Ravens are 11-2 right now. Of course, waiting to see what happens with the Patriots. It won't matter. They will hold the number one seed as of now because of that victory head-to-head. -head. Meanwhile, over the NFC, again, this is as of now. The 49ers now move into the top seed and the top of the NFC West. Of course, San Francisco has the game tonight against the Los Angeles Rams to determine who will win, uh, maybe go a long way in determining who will win the NFC West. Let's go back to the NFC North, though. And, Tony, again, not much change with the standings, but do you feel any more confident in either of these teams today? Uh, you know what? When I look at the, the Vikings, the Minnesota Vikings, I, I think Kirk Cousins, if, if he can continue to play the way he does, and that defense can play the way they're capable of playing, they got, they're loaded with talent, loaded with stars. Uh, but when I look at that offense for the Vikings, they can heat up, and this is and granted. Now, Adam Adam Thielen has been out, and he's still out, but they still got Diggs. They've got one of the best running backs in the NFL, and Dalvin Cook, and he cr crunches up yards, which is helping uh, Kirk Cousins. Now, the biggest knock on Kirk is that he hasn't won in primetime games. He can't win the big game. If there ever was a year to do it, I think this is the year. Now, they play the uh, they play the uh, Chargers next week, then the Packers, and then the Bears. So it'll settle itself out. Got the but Packers I think they're going to win. Well, I, mean, I think they're going to win. And I think how we said it earlier in the pregame show, the Packers. He doesn't. Feel like their defense is built to really right. d d finish this up for them. And today, in a lot of ways, they struggled against the Redskins team that came down to a fourth down play that could have ended up in a touchdown. They had to keep able to make that catch. But yeah, this is, I think the, the Vikings are the stronger of these two teams. But it took them a while to get off and let Cousins be free and get loose and say, "Hey, we're paying you eighty-four million dollars. Get out there and, and let you play the way you want to play for it." But I hope it's not a little bit too late. For them, but I think they have a great chance of still winning this division because Green Bay, if anybody's going to lose a game, I think they're going to win. I'm out. worried about Green Bay. I know they've won 10 games, but I mean, I'm used to Aaron Rodgers throwing for 300 yards yeah. and four touchdowns, and today it was Jones, the running back, who's had another great game. I just don't they see look the like they look matching up yet. Early in the year, they look like offensively they have a lot of the answers. You know, new head coach, hard runner, <clears throat> innovative offense, great runner. Uh, they, it was an easier schedule. The season went on. Their defense kind of peaked out a little bit. They got exposed a little bit in terms of their run defense. They've got to go to Minnesota. That could be the game that determines mm -hmm. the division. That's where Tough it all is. And, and Minnesota's a team that, you know, Tony, you've said it before. And we've, I think we've all kind of said it. They're as complete a team as you could see on paper. But how do you explain the way the defense played a week ago? Right. I can't explain The that. defense has not been there all season long. Going back to the Packers, Matt LaFleur becomes the first Packer rookie head coach ever to win 10 games in his initial season in Green Bay. Congratulations to him. All right, we come back. We'll get inside some of those locker rooms. As a, lo a couple of them didn't, about 35 players until about an hour before kickoff. Wow. All right, let's get inside some of the winning locker rooms today, starting with the Vikings. <laughs> We still haven't played our best football yet. We're, cl we're getting closer, but we haven't played our best football yet. We're going to make it down the stretch and finish up strong, all right? All right, Pat, let's go, man. Hey, 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 hey. 